10 years after people. One of the most unusual steel structures, the Gateway Arch, still stands along the Mississippi River in St. Louis. Little changed from the day humans last packed its observation deck high above the Mississippi River. At 63 stories, it is the tallest structure in the city, and it might prove to be its longest lasting. Although it said the architect, Iero Sarinen, designed it to stand for a thousand years, its slender form looks vulnerable in a life after people. Unlike a skyscraper, the arch doesn't have a steel skeleton. Its strength is derived from double walls of stainless steel plates filled with concrete. Stainless steel corrodes at a very, very slow rate. The surface of the stainless steel is covered with a film of chromium oxide that can resist corrosion for decades. If people suddenly died off, I think it would probably stand for a long time. There's no water intrusion into the structure at all. With no water getting inside of it, no rust forming, there'd really be no reason why anything would, would happen to the structure itself. The arch remains as the gateway to the west, at least for now. For 250 years after people, St. Louis's gateway arch has worn its stainless steel skin as armor against the dragon's breath of corrosion. But stainless steel isn't invincible. It doesn't last forever. The mechanism for final failure will probably be around the center of the arch at the top. That's its thinnest point. The thinnest points are the two sections that form the keystone, steel triangles 17 feet long by 18 feet high, the last pieces to be installed. The keystone is so critical to the structure's stability that until it was inserted, a temporary stabilizing truss had to be used to keep the two legs from collapsing. Before the pieces were lifted into place on the 28th of October, 1965, a Roman Catholic priest and a rabbi blessed the keystone. But now the prayers of man are of little help. The keystone buckles and plummets from the structure. The two legs of the arch would not be able to stand on their own, and they would fall down to the ground. 